actually. Okay, I'll just give you a little background on that. So every year you guys tiff the turbines for the Vienna um, wind turbines, and it goes into a tiff fund, a special, it's kept separate. And then you make payments on your bonds plus interest twice a year in December and in June. The June payment is due. That's the one that has the principal, which I think this year on those is over $420,000. So per the bond agreement, you can't pay it out of TIF funds. You have to pay it out of the debt fund. So you transfer the TIF money into the debt fund service. So you do this every year when I have that big payment. So this year, the amount I'm asking you to transfer is $400. $92,083.36. I'll make the motion okay. that we transfer that okay to the transfer of that money. Yeah, I'll second that. They move and second transfer the money from Vienna to the debt service. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And that's um, also a resolution. Sorry, oh, maybe, yep, yep. Oh, it's Monday, I'm not in my mode fully yet. <laughs> um, so that's going to be Resolution 417-2023-B. Be it resolved that the Tama County Board of Supervisors approve the transfer of $492,083.36 from the Vienna TIF Fund 0015 to the Debt Service Fund 2100 as requested by the Tama County Auditor. So that's what I'm asking you to do officially. Is there a roll call vote? Yes. So roll call. Kurt? Aye. Phil? Aye. Dan? Aye. Okay, thank you. So we're all on track. Can we ask if there's anything left in that um, TIF separate fund after that transfer, what the balance will be? Yeah, I'd have to go look it up. I can look it up. You want me to look it up right now or you can oh. come across after the meeting and I think it's one or two hundred thousand left in there, maybe. It's a little bit extra, yeah. And then what gets done with that money? Does it go to the schools? Does it go to the, the money the that's in the fund? Like, where does that sort of excess go? Like, it stays in the TIF fund. So then next year, when I ask for this amount again, I use that, subtract that out because it's hard to predict exactly how much is going to be raised. So that's why there's usually something left in there. When the tip, when it becomes mature, which I think is 2032, that last year, mm -hmm. I just probably won't ask for that much to be levied, so that we can empty out that account and it goes okay. all that money goes back to pay back yeah. the bonds. How much has been? I mean, is it usually like from what was projected? Is it usually hitting that, or is it short? Or especially now, if there's repowering talking about, or mm -hmm. they seem like they're off a lot. Mm -hmm. What's kind of the efficiency? Look so like? right now, it's it's not producing what we expected because when the board of supervisors at the time when we set up the TIF fund, um, the the calculation showed that by year five, I believe it was, that the TIF money would be able to completely pay off the debt we have, but then legislation changed in the valuing of industrial. So now we're short every year about between 100 and 150,000. So then we have to levy extra on the taxes for the debt service fund to make up the difference from the TIF fund. So there's money going into the debt service fund already for that. Um, plus then we transfer the TIF money in there. Also in the debt service fund, that's how we're paying for the 911 radio system. Mm -hmm. So it's a payment for that. Okay. So that comes completely out of the debt service. So we fund. got the 911 and gravel, and that's primarily what we got out of the Vienna turbines. Is that correct? Like nothing else to the school or the counties outside of that? The difference between the, when you set up a TIF area, you mm -hmm. say, this is my base year. Yeah. And so then the when you set a date for that to be effective, then whatever is in the base still goes to everybody. Only the excess goes into whoever tips it, whether it's a county, a city, okay. a school, whatever. So they're still getting what they were getting. They just aren't getting the excess yet until we get that paid off. Okay. Yep. You. Yep. Okay, we'll have our public meeting or hearing for maximum tax levy. Okay, that's something that we have on the agenda because uh, now we're required to um, share your levies that you 
levy every year, you're, you're allowed to show, required to show the difference between last year's levies and this year's levy. Um, as I explained earlier, we, we had an 8% cost of living increase, but we've absorbed a lot of it. So this year, um, according to what we prepared in the budget, Um, in the general um, levy, there was an increase of 4.29%. And in the rural levy, it's a difference of 4.59%. So even though you increased budgets that much, you're covering part of it with your reserves that kept it down to only a little over 4% increase from last year in your levies. Your valuations have gone up, so that helps cover part of it too. Okay, so that's the, and that's resolution 417-2003A, maximum proper do tax dollars resolution. Whereas the Tama County Board of Supervisors have considered the proposed fiscal year 23-24 county maximum property tax dollars for both the general county services and the rural services. And whereas a notice concerning the proposed county maximum property tax dollars was published as required and posted on the county website and or social media accounts, if applicable, whereas a public hearing concerning the proposed county maximum property tax dollars was held on 4-17-2023. Now therefore be it resolved by the Board of Supervisors of Tama County that the maximum property tax dollars for the county, uh, general county services and rural county services for fiscal year 2324 shall not exceed the following. Um, general County Services, 7,594,644, an increase of 4.29% from the prior year. Rural County Services, 2,728,345, a change of 4.59% from the prior year. Now that's saying that's the most you'll go up. When you guys go to approve your budget at your public hearing, you might go lower, but you can't go higher than what we've published. Okay. That's all I have a question. Okay, did you have a question on this? What's, what's the uh, valuations going to be going for this year? Oh, let me get that taken. <clears throat> um, last year they were one billion one seven five seven three two three six one. This year, one billion. Two two six one nine six six eight five. So the new valuations that we just got were more than three times last year. Mm -hmm. Well, the ones you got in the mail, those are a year away yet. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So they aren't in here yet. So that's not a very big increase. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. Now we'll have, you guys all have a public hearing for the actual numbers. Yep, we're going to set that yep. here, and we got another uh, item after this one. If you want to comment then. Okay. I want to understand the right. well, yes, yes. large increase we got for valuations. <clears throat> That's a year away mm -hmm. for taxes. Well, then you use the same process of wanting X amount of dollars and not increasing the uh, rate. So you're more more likely next year decrease. Probably, yeah, decrease the levy. Mm -hmm. They'll change the levy to get that. I would guess that's what they would do. That's up to the to them. Is what we'll do. Okay, because that's the correct. You know, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. What do you think, Chris? I would think. Usually, what I'll do when we have a big change like that is prepare it with the rates we have this year, and then prepare it with going like they just want to raise the same amount of dollars. Then I'll lower the rates that we mm -hmm. recommend. <laughs> or they can. A lot of people don't understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. Right. And well, that's sticker shock. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people see the assessment. Yes. Mm -hmm. See the yeah. cap set, increase <clears throat> assessment, they automatically 